God says to me, I have a book of you. And I ask God, what do you mean? And God shows me a vision of himself in my mind. He opens his pockets and he has a bunch of little books in there. But he also has really big pockets. So he says, like, you know, I have a book for each for each person. And I'm like, wait, what do you got in there? And I mean, I think Sophia carries a lot of stuff with her wherever she goes. But God, he has all these little books in his pockets. And I was looking in his pocket and one had like a yarn cover. And I'm like, did you crochet the cover of that book? And then he showed me mine. It was a it had like a vegan leather cover and there was another one that was like hand woven with this little like little ribbons and I was like it was very interesting and he was showing me his pockets and I'm and I'm like you do you have a you have one for each each person in the in the world and he says oh no, only the ones that pray and he looked at me and it's really hard sometimes when when God looks at me he communicates with his eyes and I cannot even see his eyes to me when God shows up. He's just a body of light with no face, but I can feel him looking at me and it hurts every time. It feels like someone's filling you up with love and that love is so real that it hurts. It's kind of like if someone just sort of handed you a baby panda bear, it's just complete emotional overwhelm. So I ask him about Dodie's breast cancer and he says, oh, I got her book right here. And it was a book with all her prayers all the way from when she was a little kid up till now. And I'm like, who wrote, who wrote this book, you or her? And he's well, kind of both. Like at first they're written in her voice. So when they show up in my prayer book, I see her handwriting and I get a notification every time she enters a new prayer in our book. And I asked, well, when you say our book, do you mean, and he said, hers and mine, it's ours. And I'm like, what notification? And he says, I'll feel it in my heart. And then he shows me. And I'm at Target. And in front of me are those, you know, those disposable aluminum pans that you take to picnics? And all of a sudden, I'm hit, kind of like you can get just... You can just be hit, like hit by a baseball hit. And I had this memory of my friend Alex baking a cake in one of those pans and bringing it to my house on his birthday. And my knees buckled and I felt this terror in my heart. And I said, that aluminum pan is breaking my heart. And God says, yeah, that's a notification. So he continues. Every time I get a notification, I check the prayer book, and there it is, written in her handwriting, her prayer. And he says, some of her prayers bleed or have tears. And I say, well, is that the ink? Because I was wondering what color ink it is, because if it was Samantha, I know she'd write it in purple. But me, I personally, I use crayons. And God says, they're usually written in tears, like a crystal, translucent ink. And then I rewrite her prayers in my own handwriting and in my own voice. And I say, um, you don't delegate that to the prayer angels? And he said, do you delegate kissing your koala bear to prayer angels? Some things you do yourself, even when you're God, because you're God. I'm like, okay. And he says, look here. So she writes in her own tears, I'm scared I have this cancer diagnosis. So when I rewrite her prayer in my own handwriting, I write, dear God, thank you for the gift of fear. For the first time, I am counting every day. I never counted the days before. Now I realize that every day of my life counts. So I'm like, so you don't, you don't actually cure her of the cancer. You, you just make it a gift. And God is like, she will cure her own cancer. I inspire her with the love that she needs to heal it. 
I'm like, oh, okay. okay, then what? And then God says, then I send both of our versions of her prayer to the angels and they take it from there. And I'm like, okay, so you're like the processing center. You're like 1-800 prayer line. This is God. Then you do the paperwork. You've done the paperwork. You send it to the angel department. And then it's kind of like an angelic work order. And God's like, yes. So by the time I process her prayer, the angels have instructions on how to guide every situation in her life to help her let her fear teach her that every day of her life counts. It always counted. It still counts, even when she doubts. So I say, so if you had rewritten her prayer as her prayer teaching her how to make a billion dollars selling cat beanies, and God is like, yeah, then the angels would receive the work order They would have the instructions on how to guide every situation in her life to teach her how to make a billion dollars selling cat beanies. But that's not the prayer that I wrote. And I'm like, yeah, 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 but you could have. And I'm sure you wrote the billion dollar prayer for Facebook, for Twitter, for Tesla. You could totally do that. You just think love is more valuable than a billion dollars. And I give God that look, you know, like, You know what you should be writing in my prayer book. Think about it.